This is not your ordinary cooking show. We cook and chat and laugh and inspire. We're sisters, Patty and Elaine, and we're clowning around while making great food and having lots of fun. Welcome to Cooking with Medium Sized Mamas. Hi everybody. Today we're gonna make some pizza, which is what everybody loves. I mean, almost 90% of everybody I've ever met likes pizza, right? Totally. Okay. Love so pizza. I found a way to make a thin crust pizza in a really, really simple fashion. So what you can do is buy burrito style flour tortillas. So it's like one of those medium size. Yeah, it's about eight inches round. Yeah, not as big as like a wrap, but not as small as a taco shell. Yeah. So we're doing a Meyer lemon veggie white pizza today. Does that sound neat? That sounds so good. Okay, so a Meyer lemon is kind of like in between an orange and a lemon. Ooh, I've so never tried that before. That sounds so good. Pretty neat. So okay. where do we start? Okay, so I already put the, the shell down and I already put the regat on. So this is like a part skim regat. And since we're medium size, I like to think of us as being part skim. Little skim. Not all kinds of cheese. Little jeans. whole milk. <laughs> all right, so. So we got this going with the regatta already. Now we're going to put a little slurry of parsley, garlic powder, pepper, and what was the other thing? Oregano. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're really that down. Yummy. Yep. Okay, we'll what's that. next? And then next we are going to do a little bit of gorgonzola cheese. You can use blue cheese or gorgonzola. Pretty similar. Put that on. Crumbled. This looks amazing. It smells really good. It's gonna Load be it cheesy. It's gonna Load be cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just putting these around. Okay. That's and then, it. No. Put more. Now we're gonna put. We'll, we'll add a little bit at the end. Okay. Good. All right. And we have some of the black seedless grapes sliced up. Yep. Thin little slices. So we'll okay. put some of these on. Start decorating. All around. And the grapes at the end give it just like this nice little sweetness, almost like, like a, kind of like a chutney at the end. Delish. Can't wait. Can't so wait to try this. got salty and sweet. Yummy. Everybody yes. always likes salty and sweet, right? Mm -hmm. Especially as ladies. All right. So we got a mix of veggies, which is arugula, a little bit of baby spinach and the baby romaine. So put that on. Okay. Okay. And I guess these will cook down and shrink. They do cook down and wow. shrink. So you're gonna, it's like when you cook spinach and it just, same thing yes. happens in the oven, but it doesn't get that small. Okay, good. So there's arugula in here. I love the flavor of arugula. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. My family and I, we love to make pizzas. We've made all different kinds of pizzas. Mom. Artichoke pizzas and white pizzas, red pizzas. Everybody yeah. loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. And this is good too. If you're having company over, oh, you can good. use this um, as like a little appetizer because it cuts up nice and small. Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. Okay. okay. And what we're going to do is put a little bit of the um, Romano cheese. Sprinkle that while I give the audience a look. Sprinkle that on. And... Then you take a little bit of the Meyer lemon and you squeeze this on the top like this. It gives it like a little bit of a tartness. Mm, that seems like a really good blend of flavors you got going on here. That's yummy. <laughs> and then I have lemon oil. If you don't have lemon oil, you can just use olive oil and lemon. But I actually have a little bit of lemon oil. My like lemon flavored olive oil? It's lemon flavored olive oil, oh, yes. I have to get some of that. That sounds so good. Okay. Drizzle away. All right, so really simple. 400 degree oven, preheated, six minutes in the oven, that's it. And you have a little meal for yourself or a little appetizer. Fantastic, okay. there it is, going in. Mmm, I can't wait. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, so here it is, the Meyer Lemon Veggie White Pizza. It looks so good. My sister wanted extra cheese on it at the end, so at the end when we pulled it out of the oven, I added a little bit more gorgonzola cheese. So it's got the arugula, the spinach, the baby romaine, some seedless grapes, the regat, and the Parmesan cheese. Hey, it's my favorite time of the day. Ooh. Snack time again. Yummy. And we're having infused water with lemon, cucumber, and grape. Mmm. Mm -hmm. 
goes really well with my concoction. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, yum, yum. Mm. So, you know, ah, one of the things that inspired my sister and I to cook is, you know, we're children of the 70s, so we ate a lot of TV dinners. Kid-friendly crap. Macaroni and cheese. We didn't even take it out of the pot. We just ate it out of the pot. <laughs> and we ate, what else did we eat? Oh, we all know those yummy steak sandwiches that came out of the freezer, those little thin steaks oh, yeah, that are frozen. yeah, cheese and ketchup, you know, mm -hmm. make, make it home thin burger kind of a situation. Yeah, not healthy. So I feel like we have evolved a little bit yeah. with some of our evolved. some of our cooking. And I think cooking is one of the best ways to be creative. What about you? Oh, it totally is. And, you know, the family appreciates it. If they can come home and have some home-cooked food, it's really nice. And, and I enjoy it. I love it. I love to see smiles on everybody's face when we feed people. We're Italian. We feed people. That's what we do. We're Jersey girls and we're Italian. So you know you're going to get fed if you come to our house. Absolutely. <laughs> this is a fact. I mean, I feel like my husband is so lucky because I have learned how to make Spanish food, Italian food, Thai food, Chinese food. Every food that you can think of, I have tried. I read the different cookbooks. And I test it out and I make it my own. And she calls me like every day. I go, oh, I tried this. Ah, you gotta try this. Oh, we, you know, we made this over the weekend, and, and it just keeps the inspiration going and going. Yes, exactly. And the other thing that I feel like is very inspirational, you know, the the world is not always in the best place, especially right now. So things are not really as positive as we would like them to be. So one of the things that makes people feel good is laughing. So. That's really why a lot of times we do a lot of silly little things because, you know, when we were growing up and just in life in general can be a little hard. Yeah. So we want to share a couple of our special laughs just for you. And remember, don't take yourself too seriously. Exactly. Sometimes it's good to just let it loose and just be a silly, dumb person. <laughs> just be fun. <laughs> Have fun. Practice. Exactly. So... Here we a go, little girls. inspiration for laughing. <laughs> Sometimes I, costumes inspire. Yes, we've been serious. doing this our whole lives. <laughs> Everybody loves feathers. Costumes and play. Oh my Here goodness. Here we are. Mm -hmm. yes. Woo -hoo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some exercises in laughter. Exactly. Okay, first. Here we go. Right here, you know what? This is the snob face. Ready? <laughs> this is the fish face. <laughs> this is my favorite laugh.